Alrighty, welcome to week seven, day two of Cine 399, Self Park and Society. The real Dr. Dre coming at you live from the pole barn here at Goat's Beard Homestead. I'm looking extra Farmer Joe today. Uh, after this, I'm going to go out and bush hog the pastures. <laughs> It sounds so ridiculous to even say it out loud. And the fact that I'm here repping my farmer tan with my freaking overalls on and my straw hat. Oh my God. Anyways, I uh, hope y'all are well. Hope you're good. Uh, hope you're feeling all right. Um, we just doing the thing out here, you know, hopped up on some Benadryl, you know, trying to be, be able to breathe through the day. So we'll see how that goes for your boy over here. But we're going to talk about film, music, and sinistry. Uh, synastry, synergy in the film and television uh, industries, talk a little bit about how those industries work and see how they work through um, some episodes of, of South Park. So we're actually going to start it off with um, one of my favorite episodes, which, you know, uh, is, is a classic to me, uh, Christian Rock Hard. Um, as we get into this episode, um, you know, we want to pay attention to a few things. We obviously have Faith Records. Um, which is a play on Capitol Records, the building for Capitol Records, uh, etc. And then we have um, the Faith Plus One, which is Cartman's, uh, Cartman Butters and uh, Token's um, uh, Christian rock band that they formed to exploit Christians, which, you know, as you, you can see, it's a little bit of a theme uh, in South Park. Um, is also a play on uh, the Joshua Tree U2 album where Bono's like looking away from the, <laughs> the camera uh, off, 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 off the frame. So, uh, you know, so you have some elements of, of that stuff just to just to kind of set that up. Um, this is a really great look at and satire on the music industry. Um, and specifically the music industry's relationship to unauthorized downloading or pi piracy, um, which was prevalent at the time in terms of like a topic, a hot button topic was, you know, Napster was going on at the time or had just been taken down and, and, and dealing with the lawsuit. So that was all kind of going on. So this looks into some of the political economics of the recording industry uh, itself and some of the dynamics there. Um, but yeah, so it goes, it talks a little bit about like what authorized, unauthorized downloading means actually to, um, you know, celebrities, uh, and, and wealthy recording artists. And we'll talk a little bit about how recording artists make or made money back in the day. Um, and this is a, ma a major, major land based of most of the, uh, celebrities who came out against unauthorized downloading, um, Britney Spears, Master P, Lars Ulrich of Metallica being number number one, first and foremost, Missy Elliott, uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, etc. And we'll talk a little bit about why they came out. Why were they, you know, while other artists sort of remained silent or were like, yeah, take our, take our stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a satire on, on, on that and the sort of over, maybe overreaction corporately uh, to unauthorized downloading. Okay, um, so again, obviously we have a little bit of a connection to the exploitation of Christian values where Cartman replaces traditional love songs with, uh, with Jesus, um, you know, uh, and, you know, and the, uh, the, the guy at the, uh, at the record label, you know, is like, you must really love Christ, you know, it's pretty, pretty funny. And you get into another theme, which we actually kind of really touched on um, in the last class with Band in China about art versus commerce in this concept of of selling out. You know, Moop wants to stay authentic to their fan base, um, you know, whereas Cartman chases the dollar and, and, he, and, he, and he sells out ultimately at the end, you know, um, Butters says, fuck you, Eric, and farts on him. And, you know, again, Cartman is sort of the own victim of his own uh, greed and and his own ignorance in, in 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 essence but um i mean you have uh a few different like you know allusions in, in this um you know to other films and other texts so try try to like you know uh point at those but let's just watch this think about how the music you know what what maybe we know about the music industry what maybe we don't know 
uh, how recording artists get pay paid and for what and how. And then we'll kind of break this down and talk a little bit more about South Park in, in specific. So just, again, focus a little bit on the carnivalesque, you know, how they put together the satire. And then we'll talk a little bit about um, the music industry. And then we'll talk about the film industry and kind of connect, connect them all uh, in this discussion.